we'll start with this gosh waterproof crayon because we're going to be using just a couple of pigments and it will help in keeping keeping your makeup on all day oh the sun's just come out that's helpful now I love classic Indian bridal makeup it is so so beautiful and glamorous absolutely gorgeous so I've been dying to do this look for ages the next thing I'm going to do is take a Dazzle Dust by Barry M. This is number 51 and it's it's kind of a purpley pink mushroom sort of colour. And I'm just going to put that all over that crayon. It's a lovely colour, really lovely. There we go. And this is my new brush. Oh, I love it to death. It's so soft and it just loads up with colour really nicely. It's very soft and very nice. I do like it a lot. Mm. I'm literally just brushing it on. Don't worry about fallout, really. You'll be a bit more careful than I will, because I'm sort of against the clock. So, you can see that lovely shimmery purple. Just make sure it's nice and even over the eye, and that they're equal. A bit more needed here, I think. Um, my MAC Satin Taupe, and this is deceptively this is deceptively dark, so go easy with it. <clears throat> Take the same brush you were using and pop it over the edge. Like this. Um, and bride, Asian bride and makeup is generally really dark. I mean, there are some more contemporary looks where pinks are used, which I've, I've tried to mix the two. Um, but if you have small eyes, then you may choose to use a lighter colour as your accent on the outside. And I'm just trying to sort of make a nice shape. Don't go beyond the end of your eyebrow. And just sort of work it in. This is a really, this is a chiselled eyeshadow brush. And it's so perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm so happy I'm going to buy ten of them. Same on the other side. Just work it into the corner and out like this. All over. This chisel brush is just perfect. Mm. I'm going to use Shroom by MAC. And the reason I like this so much is because um, it gives a lovely luminosity and blends really well with almost all of my other colours. And it's not too sparkly, so I'm quite pleased about that. Because when you're having photographs taken all the time, you don't want too much glitter under the eyebrow. Well, that's just going to reflect back and you're going to look a bit bizarre. So you need something like this, which has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much sparkle. Put our highlight on. I'm just going to put some in the corners. And you're thinking, my goodness, it looks really heavy, but this is the look. You know, it's very different to, say, an English bride who tends to play down everything. Oh, it's not that way in India. You know, and I tend to agree, actually. You want to look absolutely stunning. A bit of liquid liner and just line the top lashes. So to start in the middle and stroke outwards, like this. Then from the other corner into the centre. You can see that's made a huge difference already. And then just begin to thicken here. You can see that's taking shape. And wing it out if you want to. 
like that. Hmm. <laughs> it's quite simple once you've done it a few times. And the same on the other side. Just stroke it over. I always find this side a little bit harder. I don't know why. all the way in and it kind of has to be all the way in for this look otherwise your eyes going to look really small okay I'm just going to continue to thicken that line here just so it meets And I've winged it out a tiny bit as well. But don't forget to fill in where you can see some sort of skin. So remember you want to extend the eye. And it's not going to be believable if you can just see all the skin underneath. So continue to do the lining until you're happy with it. It's brand new lip brush here. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. It's pink. Um, and I've got one by Clinique and it's called Sassy Spice. And it's a really lovely colour. I'm just going to load up the brush. I decided not to use a red, which is convention, because it just doesn't go with the sort of pinkiness of this look. This lip brush is amazing. It's just the control. Look at that. I'd like to say that was all technique, but I don't think it is. Okay, so just continue to load up and go with it. It's just put a bit of shimmer on my cheekbones. So I've got this e.l.f. facial shimmering whip in number 204, Camilla. It's kind of a lilac-y colour which goes really well and you just want to whack this on loads of it absolutely loads doesn't matter you want to look amazing so just do it in this C shape so it goes from the top of the eyebrows to the top of the cheeks bit of gloss, this is a prescriptive um, a prescriptive and it's number 9, Mantra just because I want a bit more gloss but just put it two dots here two dots here and rub together and try and angle them so they come straight out and sweep off to the side so it's straight out sweep off to the side okay last thing to do is put a bit of coal into the corner and underneath like this. Go gently and carefully and just build it up. Build it all up like that. And you can see the difference. That one's got it on, that one hasn't. Go start from the corner, wing it out to meet the rest of that wing and then stroke gently. into the waterline if you like. Gold pencil. This is by e.l.f. and it's in gilded so it's kind of a, a goldy brown and I'm just going to pop that into the centre. Oh, sorry, into the end. And there we have it, our Asian bridal look.